What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of RimWorld, our tribal playthrough. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today. I'm a little bit weirded out that this blood hasn't been cleaned up. We just have, like, a big old pile of cassowaries just playing in a blood pile over here. And it just never seems to get cleaned up. The blood of crystal and a wild boar. I'm sure it will get cleaned up. In the previous episode, we got gotten run up on by, like, a thousand boars. We had had to deal with some bugs that had built a base over here. And so, as you can see, we've got dead mega spiders and all kinds of random stuff over here. It was gnarly. It was not the most fun. But we managed to pull through. Everything seems to be all right. Why are these rotting? These should not be rotting. Uh, okay, clean out all the rotten shit. A colonist needs treatment. Who needs treatment? Oh, well, somebody will come along. We'll have uh, somebody take a look at it. More than likely, Lindoa will swing down through here. I can also take them, by the way. I can take them off night shift right now. It's not that big of a deal that they be on night shift anymore, especially since we have... Let's get rid of Rotten. Rotten is not allowed. I'm so disappointed that they didn't chop up all those bodies. I'm also a little bit confused why it's all rotten when everything else is refrigerated. But... I guess it is what it is. I don't know. I may have to put in another cooler over here, too. My suggestion would be... It's still kind of hot outside. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's still hot enough. I don't see that many fires around. And the rain should take care of most of it, I would think. How many hops do we have left? Not enough. We ain't got hops like a kangaroo, that's for sure. Alright, well, finish off all the wiring, make things happen, and then we'll move out some of these little stones right here. We'll haul them the hell on out of here to wherever it is they need to go. Over on this side, it looks like power is a little bit lax right now. It seems as though we have exceeded our power grid. And that's no good. We'll be able to fix this a lot more efficiently once we have solar power available. We should be pretty soon. We should be solid very, very shortly. Or it was just related to something else. I'm not sure why our power went out right there. So the draw on these... The conduits have indeed been run. Storing a little bit of electricity, but I think we've got our grid just about tapped out. That's all good. Because we can toggle power on most of this stuff now since it's not a heat wave anyways. It becomes one of those who gives a shit moments. Turn that back into a normal bed. And we'll leave it on the hospital room just because... It'll take too long for me to go through and get everything connected that way. But yeah, these all are designated for switch flicking right now. So if we can get that done by the end of the episode, I'd be pretty happy with that result as well. We've got a bunch of llamas over here. We could probably take them out without too many problems. I need to sell off some of our food. We've got too much food laying around at this point. I know that sounds like a perverse thing to say. We got food coming out of our ears right now. Way, way, way too much of the shit. As soon as somebody finishes this up right here, solar panels look like they're about a third done by the end of the episode. I think we should have access to solar power. What I'll do then is I'm just going to make an array of solar panels just kind of up here. And then I'll have the wiring run down. And then from there we should be really, really, really like 100% solid on our power. Solar is very, very powerful in this game. And so once you've got it, it's good to hold on to. I don't know if they don't have anything to put over here. Yeah, stone chunks can go over there. We just don't have enough haulers. Really what it comes down to. We've turned off the power on a lot of this stuff, so the batteries should be filling up a little bit more rapidly. We do have a lot of light bulbs and random things in here, so... That's another thing to keep an eye on, but... Apparently we have insect meat. Making dinner out of insects. Okay. Haul some of these pigs out of here. I may sell off 
a huge, 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 huge quantity of our potatoes the next time it comes around. The cargo pods, double cargo pods, in fact. We've got milk inside of there. It's not refrigerated. It goes bad pretty quickly, especially with that open face right there. Just, like, allowing stuff to be taken. Cargo pods. I doubt they'll get to most of this stuff. I really sincerely do, but I'll leave it there. I mean, hauling seems to be pretty low on the list for most people, and we don't have anybody that's really any good at it either, so I think a lot of the time there's not a lot of things getting done. At least we got all the dead pigs over there, so that's good. What's he picking up? He's got steel in hand, and he's hauling it to the stockpile. Actually, that's good. I'm not going to build anything for a little bit. We're just going to let them stockpile for the next little while because, in all honesty, with a little bit of style, if we stockpile for a while, I think that we should be able to get everything rank and file, so it'll be chill. We failed to... Uh, oh, we successfully came... Oh, good. We got a new cassowary. Fantastic, because we need more cassowaries. We got a bunch of baby male cassowaries over here. Her egg is fertilized. Did we get a male or a female? Where's the new cassowary at? Or was it a baby that hatched? It was a baby that hatched. Okay. That's cool. I can live with that too. It's not a huge deal. I would prefer to have this done a little bit differently, but ah, uh, well. Why did you just eat raw food? I'm not totally sure why that just happened. Ain't that the way life always works? Lilith over here doing hella work, and these dudes just sitting around with cowboy hats on drinking beer. That's the problem is I gave them cowboy hats, and now everybody thinks that they're Wyatt Earp or some shit. That's the problem, and now I gotta live with it. It's the downside. We haven't been attacked in a really long time. Then again, we did get jumped by some pretty nasty shit, so... But that wasn't too long ago. I'm gonna suggest... Uranium walls. No, let's not make uranium walls. That seems like a mistake. Let's just go ahead and do that right there. And then we're going to put in a uranium door. Just in case you really, really, really want to grow extra fingers. Nope, we'll put in a wood door right there. And we'll disassemble that in a little bit. But for right now, I want to get my next death trap hall all taken care of in case the enemy decides to come after us. It's not entirely that helpful when it comes to dealing with animals. But luckily, most of the animals in this game are not so terrifying that they can't be handled with a well-applied burst of gunfire, so... I will probably begin chopping down trees all throughout my kingdom, in all honesty. Then, what I would also like to have is we're going to put in a growing zone in some of the more barren areas. And we're going to call that a... Oh, I don't know. We'll grow teak trees out there. I think they're sorted by growth rate, by the way. I think oak takes the longest, but you get the biggest yield. Whereas cecropias get done very, very quickly, but you don't get, like, a ton of wood from them. So they plant a bunch of random teak trees over here, and we should be able to harvest these. Oh, I don't know. It's already, like, 5% grown when it's put into the soil. We'll see how it grows throughout the course of the day. It takes a couple of seasons. A military engineer named Marcus... Kuneuke calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the rapiers. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 53 years old. We will offer him safety. Welcome, Kuneuke. You are welcome with us. All are welcome. All are welcome. Let's bring everybody up and get them ready for a gunfight. We've got a raid coming through pretty soon. They should get picked apart pretty nastily by our super awesome booby traps, but... Uh, you go, like, over here, I guess. Banana, you don't even need to be a part of this. Lilith, yep, you're in. And we'll see how efficiently this all works. And there it is, taken care of. Dunsies, didn't even need to be involved. So we've got a new guy. We'll see Kanayuke. He's an engineer, so that's a good thing. He's got applicable life skills, so that's helpful. He's pretty good at shooting people. He's a military engineer. He's beautiful. Arrestingly beautiful. He's also neurotic. And he's a night owl, so he prefers to be awake at night. Okay. I can make that happen. I mean, that's pretty much what they've got going on already. 
I was going to swap them all back to day shift, but... I mean, everything's working perfectly fine with it all set up at night, so why worry about it, you know? They got a poor assault rifle right there. I don't see why the assault rifle's bank account matters in this situation. But apparently it do, boo-boo. Set those all up for auto rearm. Works pretty well versus humans. Against animals, it's a bit sketchy. It's a bit on the edge, but for humans, it seems to get the job done nice and fine. And now we've got Zanuke, or Kanuke, who is sleeping on the ground. That's right, we got to build him a house, don't we? Got to make him welcome. We got to make this work, son. Okay, we've got some sandstone. There is a bunch of blocks laying around. As far as work goes, what are you good at, man? We'll make you fight fires. We'll make you a patient first and foremost. No good at doctoring, bed rest. We probably want that up. It looks like you're okay at cooking. Uh, we'll call hunting a three. Looks like you're pretty good at construction. We'll call those twos. Looks like you're okay at growing. We'll call that a three if you ain't got nothing else. Actually, no, you're going to be a hauler if nothing else is applicable. Crafting skills up. Which means that realistically, I can take Tona off of crafting. And we can specifically only have this going on. Yeah. I feel okay with what's happening right now. I feel like it should be good. We gotta get him a house built though. If we don't get a house built, he's gonna be Mr. Grumpy Pants. So let's have a look here. We've got milk down there. Milk, milk, lemonade and all that. Granite blocks, we've got a number of them down there. We had a bunch of stuff dropped over here too, if I remember correctly. Right? Yeah, a bunch of sandstone. How much do we have in total? Like 200? Okay. That works. Let's go ahead and build his house. He'll have the first stone house. We will build it out of sandstone. And there's a new house for homeboy. Give him two doors because it gives us a little bit of tactical viability. I like it when I have two doors because then if I'm kiting animals, I can go in and out as necessary. And not have to worry about my own personal safety quite as much. Uh, we'll throw in wood floors, man. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds great. We'll have to pick up wood from, like, out in the fields, but what else is new? We get our wood from all over the place. That's just the way life functions now. Did you get a little bit of joy from playing pool? Tons of joy. He's a night owl in daytime. That's unfortunate, but I'm sure it'll get better, man. I'm, I'm pleased. We're expanding nicely right now. Since he's got shooting skills, I would very much suggest that we have him or somebody show up. Yeah, I'm going to make the suggestion that maybe we just cook that forever while we have the materials for it. And that'll use up this huge excess of food that we have anyways. And this stuff should all be refrigerated so we can start selling meals to traders and stuff like that too to make a little bit of extra side cash. It never hurts to have side cash. Over here, it looks like they got the hallway done, which means that it's time for us to start putting in the doors. Don't know if we're going to have enough metal for this project. We might not have the metal for it, nor the metal for it. Might have neither. I'm a little worried about mining that material right there because the enemy has landed there before and that makes me very, very nervous. But everything else is looking solid right now. I think we're in really, really good shape. It's going to take them a while to get the stone house built. That's one of the downsides to stone construction and masonry in this game is that it takes a while longer, but it tends to be more resilient, tends to have more HP, tends to be better insulated, so it comes down to what you want to do here. Research is coming along. I was hoping that this would be done by the end of last episode, but it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen. We had too many festivities coming along. Now then, we are going to need a bed. I'm going to suggest we do a 
Well, I don't know. We'll just give him a wood bed for right now. We'll put it right there. He will also need a lamp. Which we will corner up so that I don't have to move the power leg around. He's over here planting trees, which is a very, very good plan because we're going to need these trees later on. However, we do have a bit of a stopgap taking place in which... Are these cassowaries still lined up to be trained? I'm going to strongly suggest that we get more cassowaries. If we get five or six eggs that are all gestating at the same time, that means that every two seasons or so we'll be popping out another crew of cassowaries. And with a crew of cassowaries, we should be able to either sell them and or eat them and or do whatever we need to do in order to keep them up and moving. He's sleeping on the floor for right now, but... Oh, it's unroofed. That's not good. Let's go ahead and put a roof on that then. Oh, nobody's built the roof. Okay, so it's already queued up and ready to go. It's just that nobody has put in the conscious effort. When Kaneyuke wakes up, I'm going to suggest that he goes and grabs that rifle right there. Because this is his rifle. There are many like it. And in fact, many have been thrown on the ground over the course of this playthrough. However, that gets him locked and loaded and ready to be like a member of our society. I'm going to suggest that you maybe... Oh, good. Bananas successfully training cassowaries. That's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. There is a vomit of crystal. There's crystal vomit on the ground. It's so beautiful. Look at the facets. We have no fuel left, which is an issue. Whoa! Beef jerky falling from space right now. Normally, I would count that to be a boon, but when it almost strikes one of my guys in the face, it's when I start getting nervous. It's when I start getting nervous, boss. Okay, they appear to have finished one of the shirts. He's over here doing the cookie monster thing. And I'm absolutely okay with that because we always have way too much in our harvest. And so converting this into, I think it takes like 10 rice or 20 rice or so to make a meal or something like that. How much is it taking? 10, yeah. So this will use up some of our rice supplies and kind of get them out of the way. It'll make it so we got a bunch of meals laying around too. We've got a raid which is coming from the south, which is unfortunate because we are not prepared for that. Luckily, it looks like they're going to reroute. All right, let's get everybody kind of UK. Let's get everybody into defensive positions, yeah? Yeah. Everybody needs to get dug in. If you don't have a place to be, I strongly suggest you find one, son. Because there ain't no shelter here. Oh my god. That was the best. That went pretty well. That went pretty well. I'm happy about it. This booby trap plan is working out pretty solidly. We've got a lot of work to do and we've got a lot of things to get done, but... Damn, son. We're pretty much impervious to raids at this point. I don't even really concern myself with humans anymore. It's the other stuff that's out and about that wants to kill us that got me worried, so forget about it. These are all frozen meals, so that's fantastic. If I can get like 200, 300 meals stacked up, and it's going to be tough to stay ahead of the curve because we do have a lot of colonists now. we got a lot of mouths to feed, and we got a lot of mouths that are om nom nom and around the clock. But that being said... How good is your animal skill? Yeah, Lindoa's definitely better at it than you. Although only slightly. It's only a 5% chance, though, to get the bird. Where did... Let me see my animals menu here. 
Uh, have them all in the animal area, please. They don't get to just, like, wander around whatever the hell they want. They are socialized animals now with families and people that want to be around them. Actually, no. Just do whatever you want for right now. We'll deal with all these other issues shortly. I should probably put in an electric grill. Mental break. Hide in room. We have new lovers. Tona and Bonzo have come together. Weren't they spurning each other, though, for a while? Well, now they've swapped that over by one letter, I suppose. Uh, we've got to take the cluster of cargo pods. That's fine. Oh, my God. Look at my cassowary collection. That's right, son. They're all female, though. That's an issue. Although, when these cassowaries grow up, they'll be able to fertilize those ones. But, yes, capturing a male cassowary would be a good plan right now because we've got a harem waiting for him. And unfortunately, it's not really producing eggs. Done and finished. And that will more than likely use up a greater part of the remainder of steel we have. So we've still got issues. Bonzo, if you could do me a favor and bury some fools. We got a lot of dead folk over here. And it would just be my it would be my suggestion. That perhaps we get them up out of there. Got a bunch of weaponry we can sell. These steel spears and whatnot are going to be very, very good for us. We can't really do much right there. Tame chances, Tame chances failed. Continue burying guys. There we go. Lilith is no longer hiding in her room. She should go and make herself a meal and get herself patched up. Anytime there's a battle, unfortunately. PTSD is a real thing, and it affects your character, so you got to be careful about it. I might take a couple of people off animal handling. I don't know. we got a lot of people on animal handling right now. And it just doesn't seem to be working for me. i got too many people running around chasing cassowaries across the plains. Just being like, please be my friend. And it's just, no. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. That's true. Tona and Bonzo are together now, so technically they need to share a space. Is that Tona's room? Okay, deconstruct the bed. We'll put in a double bed in here. Because now... Local animal has gone cray-cray today, yay. Watch out, that llama gets you. Run, bro. Run. Everybody down here. Everybody down here. Someone help. There's a crazed alpaca. Shoot her. Shoot her. Not Val, you idiot. Shoot the llama. How can you be this terrible? Like, for real. Someone go down here and rescue Val because he's one of our most valuable people. And if we lose him, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, there you go. Handle our llama issue. Oh, good. We've got solar panels ready to go now, too, so that'll help out. Unfortunately, steel is looking a little bit meh. So we'll have to get on top of that, but I need smelting. Where is uh, smelting at? 
electric smelting does not attract me. You can get normal smelting, though, too, I thought. Did I already do that? No. Well, damn. Um... Yeah, get working on microelectronics, I guess, then. Kanayuke and Lilith are now lovers. So I want to put a double bed in over here as well so they can get freaky whenever they desire to do so. And as soon as those double beds are done, we'll be in much, much better shape. Got people in poor moods. It's probably Val that's in a poor mood, right? Oh no, it's Bananas that's in a poor mood. Banana, why are you in a bad mood, son? You're naked. Why are you naked? You ain't got no pantalones? Okay, well somebody's on that right now, so you'll only be you'll only be naked for a little while longer. Solar Flare and Traders are here. Good, good. They're not from any settlement that I really care about. But they will be helpful. We also really should get these traps reset over here. That scared me for a second. I was like, what are they doing? What are they doing? They're doing a thing right now. They're doing a thing and I don't trust it. As soon as Lindoa is up and finishes chopping down that tree, because we do need a lot more wood around here. There's a Manhunter pack. That's unfortunate. Alright. Everybody draft up. And you are going to have to finish them, so I hate to tell you this. But it is going to have to go down like that. And will it create fire issues for us? The answer to that question is absolutely yes. It will cause fire issues for us. And these fire issues will suck. Val, have you been treated? No, you have not. Go rest until healed. Oh, the beds are taken. That's not good. Unless he's one of them. He's one of them. Hooray for us. Then Landoa, get your lazy ass out of bed and go do doctor work. Done. Now go trade with these individuals because they might have useful things. I doubt it. They're cavemen. We are no longer cavemen, so we get to look down on cavemen. But just go trade with them and see what they want. They've got to have something, right? They've got dromedaries. We've got cassowaries, so, you know, I think there's room for trades here. Uh, we're out of time for the day. I'll probably stop right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of RimWorld. Having a pretty good time with it. Having a pretty good time with it. It's a fun little game. You should get it. I will see you all tomorrow. Hi, everybody.